Hello everyone, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing and in today's tip video I'm going to show you how to export your contacts from eEdge and import those into your KW Command account. Now today's date is August 27th so this is the most effective way to get your contacts from eEdge to Command at this current time, again August 27th, 2019. Um, so that could change in the future. There's a uh, uh, updates coming out to command weekly, daily, so look out for those coming out, but this is the current way that you can get your contacts over. So the first thing you'll do is log into MyKW, so I'm in MyKW.KW.com, and you'll want to go ahead and export your contacts by clicking on View Contacts on the top center eEdge control panel. I click, again, I clicked on View Contacts and that will take you into your eEdge database. From here, we'll want to come up to Contacts on the top gray toolbar and come down to Export Contacts, the very bottom option. From here, the main thing that you'll need to change, it does default on cold for contact statuses. We want all of our contacts to export, so we'll change that to all and click export. Okay, and that will download that to a CSV file, which is like an Excel spreadsheet. And we'll need to open that up. All right, so we have that open. So now the second thing that we'll need to do is go into our KW command. So if you go to agent.kw.com. So again, that's agent kw.com that will take you to your kw command and we'll need to grab the command import template so to grab that we'll click on contacts on the left hand side all right the contacts icon looks like two little people on the left hand side so i'll click on that and from there we'll want to click on the import option on the very top right So we're clicking on import on the very top right. And we'll need to go ahead and grab the uh, import template by clicking download. So in teal here, we'll click on download the pre-made CSV to upload your contacts into the KW command system. So I'll click on download. And we'll want to open that up as well. Okay, so we're opening up in Excel the command import template. Okay, so this is the command import template. This is the file name up here. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to copy the contacts from your eEdge export and paste them into the command import template. So I have both of those open here. Okay, so you can open that up in Excel on your computer or I have these open in Google Drive. Um, so I'm using Google Sheets. Either way will totally work or you can even use numbers if you use Mac. All right, so from here, we'll simply want to go down the list here. So first name, we'll need to click and drag all the way down the column to copy that. So you can either click Control C or Command C if you're a Mac user, or you can right click to copy that. And we'll come on over to the command template, find the column that that needs to be pasted in, and you can right click to paste that in. And we're going to need to do that for each column that you'd like to import in. So now we go in for our last name column. Click to drag all the way down. Right click to copy that. Come over to our command import template. And we'll right click to paste that in the column it belongs in. Right, so same idea for all of these. We can copy over the phone number here. So this is the eEdge exports and paste that into the respective column here. So we'll find the sorry mobile phone here and we'll paste that in and so forth. So you can go ahead and copy in email addresses, phone numbers, and so forth. And you can even make sure if you want your notes to transfer over, go ahead and locate the notes. It's generally the last column, or almost last column on the eEdge export, and you can copy those over as well. 
And those, that's at the very end of the command import as well. All right. So the main thing that's different with the command import template is your custom tag. So I'm on the, if you scroll all the way to the end of the command import template, you'll see a custom tags section here. So if you would like your contacts to tag as they import in, you can go ahead and name that. Let's say I want that to be named eEdge import. So I know that each of those contacts that import in, they will have an eEdge import tag. So I know those came over from uh, from eEdge. Okay. If you want more than one tag, you can separate that by call by comma. So I would do eEdge import comma. Let's say import August 2019. All right, then I can make sure all of my contacts have that. So if I copy that and then paste it down my entire column here, so we have all of those are tagged like that. All right, so that's how you add in custom tags. And again, this is at the very end of the command import template. There are also system tags. So if you want to tag these as buyer or seller, you can just put, select a Y if that applies. So let's say this contact is a buyer. This one is a seller. Okay, and you can go through and do that. Same for agent, this one's an agent, and so forth. And again, that will tag it as this respective tag when it's imported in. So now, uh, let's say this is all completed, so I have copy and pasted all the information to this command import template. So I'm ready to go ahead and import this into command. I can rename the file. Say my command import August 28, 19. All right, and again, this is Google Sheets, so if you are saving this in Excel, that'll be a slightly different process, file, save. And now we'll want to go ahead and export this out. So we'll go to File, and I'll want to download this, and you'll want to download that as a CSV. Uh, just a quick note, when you are copying and pasting this in, make sure not to change any of the column names. Okay, none of the column names can be changed. You cannot delete any of the columns. You can resize them if you would like to. That's really all you can do. If you do delete or rename any of these uh, columns here, they will not import in. So they do have to remain the same. That is very important. And then you can come to file and we'll download that as a CSV file. Okay, it needs to be a CSV file specifically. So if you are downloading that from Excel, just make sure you look for the CSV option. All right, so now I have that downloaded. I can come back into command here. And where it says drag and drop, so again, I'm in my contacts, so just to show you this one more time, in your contacts section of command, make sure we click import on the top right of your contacts. You can either drag and drop the file here, or you can click right here to browse your computer. Navigate on over to your downloads, and you can simply double click on that. To click import contacts. Okay, it will let you know if you have any errors, but it should tell you success that those have imported in, and then you can X out of that. And it does take a little bit of time for those to appear. You might have to refresh your page, um, but those will start appearing typically after about 10 minutes or so. All right, if you have any questions on that, please feel free to email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to help you out with that. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Take care, guys.